Hey, I'm Jamie, and today we're gonna have a look at the Boom Avenue. It's a base multi-effects unit from Sonic Cake. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you know there's actually only one thing that I really care about, and that is, well, what's it sound like? I mean, it's got an Octaver, a preamp with three band EQ, built in fuzz, compression, and a booster with XLR output and even an effects send and return. So a lot of features packed into a very small footprint. So let's just see what it sounds like, starting with a dirty slap tone, maybe something you would use in like a modern rock tune. This is what the dry, unaffected signal sounds like of this four string Warwick Corvette double buck. All right, let's go ahead and process this a little bit using the Boom Avenue. So right off the bat, we're gonna use the preamp to drive it a little hot. We'll use the three band EQ to sculpt out some of those mids and get it sounding sharp. A tiny amount of fuzz, kind of using it more like an overdrive. And we'll get a bit aggressive with the compressor because slap always sounds good with some compression. Now, my apologies if you're having a hard time reading the settings on these knobs. Uh, I had a hard time filming it because the LEDs right underneath uh, each knob was just washing out the camera. So it was either too bright or too dark so you couldn't see anything. So if, if you're having trouble seeing it, just check out my deep dive video over on Patreon. I'll do a little run and gun video with my camera, my phone, and hopefully you'll be able to see them a little bit better over there. All right, let's go ahead and bring in the rest of the band so we can hear what this tone sounds like in context. And the goal is let's just see if we can't get close to that iconic dark glass tone that most people would gravitate towards when they're playing this kind of song. Okay, next let's try out some singer-songwriter pop rock music, where all I'm looking for is a clean, full-bodied bass tone that's just gonna hold down the fort and keep the band together. So first, let's check out the dry signal, completely unprocessed. All right, now I'm gonna run it through the Boom Avenue and we'll just do a little bit of EQ. I'll sculpt out some mids, pump the low end a little bit. I'm gonna drive it a little hard with the preamp just to get a, a tiny amount of grit in there and we'll squash the dynamics a bit with the compression. Well, let's just see what that sounds like. And of course, let's hear it in context. We'll pull in the rest of the track and y'all can tell me in the comments if you think this tone fits the mix pretty well. All right, and last 
last, let's check out the Octaver. This is actually a clip from one of the last shows that I ever played with Shim back in 2019. And I actually used an Octaver and Fuzz whenever we would play this song live. Now, it's gonna sound kind of weird because you're gonna hear it dry without any of the effects on there, but let's just see where we're starting from. <laughs> All right, now we'll turn on the octaver. We'll get pretty aggressive with the fuzz and I'll use the three band EQ to sculpt out some of the mud and just add some, some fullness and sharpness. And let's just see what we get. Of course, let's bring in the rest of the band so we can see if this tone is mean enough to handle this kind of stage. So anyways, that's what the Boom Avenue from Sonic Cake sounds like. And if you like what you hear, you want to get one for yourself, please just click on one of those links in the description. Yes, I'll be getting a very small commission out of it. So thank you very much for helping to support the channel. Right. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those notifications and stay well. We'll see you next time.